in Vegas. Welcome. This is so abrupt, but if you saw my last video, I got a new job and they flew me out to Vegas for my first week of work, which is this week. I start tomorrow morning. Today is Monday. It is actually Labor Day. I just flew in. Luckily, there's a direct flight from my hometown, so it was nice and easy. I'm staying in a hotel. Yeah, I have no idea what to expect. I've never worked in person before. I've also never like traveled and then just stayed at a hotel and like been alone the whole week. So a little bit nervous, a little bit scared, a little bit out of my comfort zone, but also excited for this next step. So of course I must start with a hotel tour. You walk in the main door and you're immediately met with the bathroom. The bathroom is so big and nice. Like what the heck? This is like a really nice bathroom. I mean, the lighting is phenomenal. Nice shower. Pretty basic but very nice. Ooh, I like that. Then luckily there is a full body mirror that also is the closet and the bathroom door. So here's a little closet. I'll probably pull this thing out for my uh, suitcase. Then you walk in and this is the room. It's just one single king size bed. Got a little like TV, microwave, fridge, desk. There's like a chair right here. And that's it, very basic. I probably, well, I was gonna say I won't be spending a lot of time here, but uh, after I get off work, I'll just be chilling here by myself. So I actually will be spending a lot of time here, but I brought books and I'm excited to have a good work week and then reading when I get back. I have no idea what to expect for the week. Um, first week going in, I assume it's gonna be a lot of like onboarding, getting to know people. I'll have more updates after my first day, but let's unpack. Keep in mind, I'm literally here for four days and this is stuff. Okay, this is not working out. I am gonna like completely unpack though because I don't want any wrinkles in any of my work clothes. I brought a lot of just work options and then workout clothes. I'm excited to wear some like office outfits. Here is my blazer that I'll be wearing every day. If not that, I did bring a sweater as well. I've got a button up. Okay, I got the Holara work pants that you always see on TikTok. They're literally sweatpants, but they are work pants. Very excited to wear those. I literally feel like I'm doing a first day of school, which I guess is kind of like what a first day at work is. <laughs> Same vibes. I'm gonna get my nice shirts hung up so they don't wrinkle. I brought this bag to be like my little work bag. She's cute, very cutesy, very demure. And then I don't know what shoes to wear, but I did bring Converse. I did bring some heels, but I'm hoping that the vibe is not heels. And of course my tennis shoes, but I'm not gonna wear those. Oh, I just got sad because while I was putting my shoe there, the shoelace was hanging down. And I was like, oh, I gotta put that up so my cats don't eat it. They're not here! <laughs> sad. Okay, now I can just put my suitcase away. I am all settled in. I'm finding a little bit of a cold. I'll probably take some Dayquil and then it's still only five o'clock, but I'll probably go to bed pretty early tonight. I just looked out the window like in the hallway and I could see the Starbucks. So I'll probably go there for coffee in the morning or maybe I'll just have coffee in the hotel. I don't know, but um, I'm used to, what am I even saying? I'm used to central time and I'm on Pacific time. So I feel like I'm gonna wake up at like six in the morning. So if I am up, may as well walk to Starbucks. I just ordered Indian food for dinner. I'm so excited. I also went ahead and just got like a little grocery order from Target down the street, delivering to me for just like some little snacks. I got like the mini, I'll just show you. I'll just show you when it gets here. I'm excited. But I turned on the TV and there's no like Netflix or anything. So um, I'm just gonna watch stuff on my laptop in bed. I also wanna get back to reading my book, but I kinda wanna just turn my brain off. So I don't know, I might just watch something. I also, once my food gets here, well, I guess after I eat, I wanna shower. I feel kind of gross from the plane and everything, you know, travel vibes. My first order, which is dinner, just got here. It is Indian food. I'm so excited. All right, I guess set up right here to just like watch a show. So I went ahead and got curry. Oh wait, did I get curry or did I get, hold on. What did I even get? Oh yeah, I got tiki masala chicken and I got garlic naan and then i got pakora i think that's how you say it this stuff is so fire it's actually ridiculous mm, it's over mm -hmm. that's amazing i'm already full just looking at it like this is so much food but any leftovers i'll put in the fridge and i guess eat for a snack or for dinner later was that all out of focus oh my gosh um also my target order is almost here so i'm not gonna quite dig in yet um but yeah i actually just started playing my show and remembered it's really good so i am gonna watch rain on prime just got my second order from Target. It's a quick grocery haul. I got a little bag of popcorn chips. These are the best chips ever. 
as well as a little chocolate, okay? I'm gonna be working hard. The main reason I've been wanting to do an order was to grab a few Pepsi Zeros. I got the mini ones. I just love zero sugar soda, okay? Sue me, I needed some. Three of the Alami New Minis, which I haven't even tried yet. I'm so excited. How much caffeine is even in these? Where does it say? Got the cherry slush flavor. Wait, does it literally not say? Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, these are still 100 milligrams of caffeine. That's crazy. I figured these would be perfect for my morning workouts before I get my coffee, but I didn't realize there was so much caffeine. Oh well. I was thinking about drinking one right now, but I feel like there'd be a lot of caffeine for this late in the evening. So I'll probably just have a Pepsi. I did get some pumpkin creamer because I was like, oh, I'll just make coffee at the hotel. And now I'm like, I could just walk to Starbucks. But I have it if I want it. And then one more just kind of healthier option. I just got like some salami and cheese to do kind of like a little charcuterie thing. But yeah, just a few things to throw in the fridge in here. So when I am here, if I want a snack, I can. Sorry, the AC is literally blasting right now. But I still have like a whole meal because that was so much food. That was enough food for like three people. So I'm gonna wrap it up, put it in the fridge, and honestly, dinner tomorrow as well. I was just relaxing and digesting and look at this sunset. With the freaking palm trees. Oh, wait. Okay, here, here. This one does everything. It's so pretty. Okay, now I have this really cool view just of Vegas. Okay, you can just see like my hotel room. Hold on. Can I open this? <gasps> Damn. Oh, amazing. Wow, it feels great. Anyways, look at that view. Actually, it's a little hot. I've honestly just been on my phone relaxing in bed. I just made my morning schedule because I want to have a lot of time before work to kind of relax. I want to hit the gym in the morning. Um, so I'm just going to go do like a little 30 minute workout, shower and get ready for bed. I literally forgot my phone. in bed my air conditioning is absolutely blasting i also found out that the blackout curtains don't close that's them closed luckily i brought my eye mask i'm in my pajamas it is 9 p.m but it's 11 at home and i usually go to bed at 10 or 11 so this is good i'm gonna pop some nyquil read until i fall asleep and i'm probably gonna wake up pretty early just like relax in the morning I'm talking today. I went to Starbucks as you saw and Starbucks was kind of across the street from my office So I got a good scope of like the walk super easy walk So I'll definitely just walk and then I stopped by the breakfast buffet thing and just grabbed like little bagels Some cream cheese a little yogurt hard boiled eggs and some bananas I can keep in my room and now I'm ready to shower and start getting ready. I woke up at like 6.30. I figured I would because of the time difference. It's only 7.30 right now, so I still have like an hour and a half till I even need to leave my hotel. <laughs> See, I knew I would need the pumpkin creamer. I'm gonna add it to this because this is sugar-free pumpkin creamer and they don't have that. So we're gonna do a little experiment here. <laughs> this is a sugar-free vanilla blondie with 2% milk. Normally, I would probably film a get ready with me but I kind of want to just brain rot and like watch a YouTube video while I get ready so I don't get too in my head or distracted because I just want to be excited about today. I've had a lot of like anxious nerves about today, but now that I'm here, I'm mostly just excited. This morning has been literally the most chill, one of the best mornings ever in my solo era, but I do miss my husband and I do miss my cats, but you know, I'm just, I'm just living up the being alone life. Not me trying to put this on here. Wait, let's see how it tastes. Oh yeah, that's really good. Okay, so I'm just gonna drink my coffee, get ready, do my makeup while I watch YouTube. It is time to get dressed. So here is outfit option number one with my slacks. I feel like this shirt isn't as professional and on my first day I should probably dress the nicest so I have a little tank top that I think will look good. Okay, here's the second option, and then I have a jacket, plus it's hot outside, I'm going to be walking, so the tank top would be nice. But now that I'm looking at it, I kind of do like the other shirt better. 
Oh, option one, I'll be wearing a jacket. I should probably not wear a scrunchie. Moment for the hair because it slays. I'm kind of leaning towards this option. Finally, the jacket just takes it to the next level. I feel like it's giving classy. I think I like it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start walking to work just so I have plenty of time on this walk. Take my time. Got my bag. <laughs> job is done of course as soon as I get here my AC is blasting but it's too hot to turn it off um I have so many things to say I know I didn't vlog that much in the office and it probably would have been super chill if I did but at the beginning of the day I was like oh my gosh this is fulfilling all my extrovert dreams I love being in the office and now I'm like oh, I'm tired I don't want to talk anymore I just want to lay in bed so to everybody who works in person every day you are amazing <laughs> you may be thinking oh sydney just changed and got comfy and now she's gonna update us no i just brain rotted no thoughts no talking no thinking no nothing for an hour and a half because i'm exhausted i honestly don't think i'm necessarily exhausted from like going in person there's two main factors to my exhaustion a is that i'm still sick so like even in the middle of the workday i'm like have that pressure headache from just sinus vibes and two i ended my work day <clears throat> with a two hour meeting that i had to be fully attentive and taking notes so it's like i'm already tired at the end of the day and it was fine I, it was actually a great meeting but it was just like a demo of the entire software diving deep into it and and i'm very familiar with the product but we were doing like a deep dive and so i was like taking notes and asking questions and therefore i was really tired and then i had to walk back i also stopped and got we don't even show you guys i already finished it i stopped and got a juice like a wellness pressed juice so i'm kind of hoping that'll help it tasted really good though so i'm like mm, did they add a bunch of sugar to it um my dad called me so i talked to him and then i got back here and stopped talking and thinking so yeah i might do an update in the morning rather than right now but overall update is that it was a really good day office vibes are super chill i definitely don't need to like dress up a ton like i could probably wear jeans but my slacks are way more comfortable um there were only like five people in the office uh, most everybody is either hybrid or remote, so that's nice. We all grabbed lunch together. We got Mexican. I got some tacos. They were fire. There's snacks in the office. I brought my little Lonnie New and drank it. It was really good. Very chill vibes. Yeah, they got me a work MacBook, and I was connected to this massive screen. They had, like, a massive monitor, and I thought my monitor at home was massive. Oh, my gosh. Um, there were, like, two meeting rooms. It's just, like, one big office in, like, a plaza of offices, I guess, and... Like everything's glass, so even the people who have their own office, it's like glass. So it's kind of like everyone's working basically in the same room. Very nice, but it didn't feel like corporate cubicle vibes. It was like, it felt like a startup. It felt like startup vibes. It was good though. Lots of good conversations today, lots of good meetings, a lot of just like introductions and stuff. Got my like swag from the company and made a plan for the rest of the week. And yeah, I'm really tired. It is. 8 p.m. here which means it is 10 p.m. at home and I woke up at 6 a.m. so I'm like I'm pretty tired and I also feel like I'm not that hungry because of that juice but I also really want to eat my Indian food but I don't want to force myself to eat if I'm not super hungry. I want to read but my brain is barely functioning. <laughs> Maybe I'll start another audiobook. I don't know. Maybe I'll take a nap because if I go to bed right now I could get nine hours of sleep and wake up at 5 a.m. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just tired. Good morning. <clears throat> day two of work it is like 7 30 in the morning right now i went to bed at like 9 30 i was out by like 10 and i woke up at 6 45 with no alarm so that's the time change time zone difference for you right there so i'm gonna go on a little outdoor walk for my morning workout and honestly i might go, go walk to starbucks again because i can have some nice yummy espresso if, actually, I found out they have an espresso machine at the office, so I could wait and make it there, but I kind of want it while I get ready, so I'm going to walk to Starbucks and listen to a podcast. Alright, I'm ready for day two. Gray pants, 
black top. I'm also gonna bring a little sweater because it's cold in the office. I'll wear my hair down once I get there, but it's hot on my walk. So yeah, I did like a mile and a half walk this morning and now it's like, I think it's like a half mile to the office. So let's get this walk in. at my hotel from work day two today was really good it wasn't as draining because I didn't have like a two-hour meeting where I have to be fully attentive at the very end of the work day and I'm not sick anymore I think that was the main factor of like making me so exhausted yesterday I was just really sick so I'm all recovered now and it was awesome today there was another new guy so we all went out to lunch again and we went to the same Mexican restaurant and then I found out at lunch because we were just chatting I was like wait do y'all have a cafe Rio here and they were like oh yeah like so casually and I was like don't even joke with me right now and then I went off on how Cafe Rio is the best food that's ever been invented and the best thing to ever exist whether it's healthy or not don't ask me but it's amazing so then I was like yeah I'm having that for dinner so I did get to the hotel and immediately order it it should be here soon and I'm so excited to eat that Cafe Rio if you don't know Cafe Rio is like Chipotle or Quito or whatever on crack okay like it's insane um, I'll just show you it when it gets here, but it is only in like Utah, Arizona, Nevada. I don't know if it's in any, in any other states. It's definitely not in Texas, definitely not in Missouri, unless they added it to Texas recently. I don't know. When I lived there in Houston, no Cafe Rio. I think it's just those three states, and there's literally one like 10 minutes from me, so immediate order. Anyway, work was amazing. Today I focused a lot on I'm going to be making tutorials on how to use our software when I get home. So I was writing scripts for that and I really just messed around on the software and got to know it like super in depth. I also got on the support email so I was helping answer some support questions for our beta users. Uh, I got all of our social media completely set up and kind of ready to get going on that. Made a little bit of a plan. Tomorrow we have like a big marketing call with our like consultant person and then tomorrow I'm also going to bring in my big camera and we're going to do like video, photo. So I was kind of writing out some general like what we're going to be shooting tomorrow. We also got the logo like decal for the wall. It's like just sticky um, in. So literally after lunch, we're all like taking off our shoes and standing on the desks and chairs, like trying to get this thing up there. And it was just really funny. Uh, the owner brought in their dogs and they're like two little Frenchies. And they ended up getting like completely attached to me because I showed them so much attention when they got there that the whole time I was working, they were like barking at me to play with them. So I was like playing with them, trying to work. It was really fun and cute. So first day was really good, chill, a little exhausting at the end. Today was so fun, like I even stayed a little bit late just because the vibes were high and I didn't want to come back to my lonely hotel room. I probably wouldn't do that if I was like a normal working in-person person, but it's like I'm either at the office with the music and the vibes and the people or I'm at my hotel room by myself. So I did stay a little late today and yeah, it was really fun, it was really chill and Honestly, like I've never worked in person and I know it's completely different because this is more like startup vibes, not necessarily like super corporate vibes, but it's just nice to be able to be like, oh, I have a question and just like say that out loud. Like we're all like in one room essentially. And then they ask instead of like getting on your little messaging app, messaging someone, waiting for the response and everyone has to type it out or hop on a call and then it's like kind of intimidating on a call. But like in person, I was just like, you know, I could ask the owner sitting across from me, literally like, oh, what does this feature do? And then you would just be like, oh yeah, it's for this. Or can you further explain this? Oh yeah, this is why we do that. So that was really helpful. Today I felt a lot more comfortable, a lot more relaxed, more like joking around. Um, they had the espresso machine. I didn't make espresso, but the other new guy was like, uh, Cindy, do you know how to use the espresso machine? Because for some reason we were talking about coffee for like 20 minutes at lunch. And I was like, oh, I love coffee. I have an espresso machine. It's I, lo I just love it. And so I went over and showed him and then the owner came over and was showing us like, oh, this is how you do the frothing, the milk and everything on this machine. And so tomorrow I'm probably going to bring in my creamer, leave it there because it's my last day. And and espresso there it'll just be hot but that's fine um that was such a side note i'm getting so sidetracked uh what else happened i don't know it was just a good day at work y'all look at that juicy yummy looking burrito 
and the tomatillo sauce are you kidding me okay it's been so long since i ordered and since i ordered online i didn't realize that the corn salsa add-on thing has beans in it <laughs> and i hate beans so i will be picking around that but there's no beans in the burrito pro tip if you're a restaurant and someone does a uber eats order or whatever they need a fork okay luckily i have one for breakfast Okay, oh my gosh. Oh, the sweet pork. Okay, here we go. You haven't lived if you haven't eaten this. That's it. Have not lived. Oh my gosh. The funny thing is for lunch, I had a giant burrito also at the Mexican restaurant. So I guess I come to Nevada to eat Mexican burritos. No, but it's been really fun. The other thing I thought about walking down to the lobby was having a job makes you feel like you're kind of a part of something a little bit bigger even if it's like actually kind of useless or whatever um or like doesn't really have like maybe moral value or whatever you're still a part of like a team and building something and i just think that's really beneficial for like mental health and just overall like i mean humans were kind of like designed to work whether that was back in the day working for our food or whatever like kind of just what like at least what am i trying to say like being busy is good not like busy busy, but like doing stuff is good. So yeah, I, the two weeks like leading up to my job when I accepted the offer and then said I wouldn't be able to start till September. I was so nervous cause I knew I had to go in person. I had to fly by myself, stay at a hotel by myself, start a new job, have no idea what I'm doing. And like dreading the fact that I was starting the job as well, like being kind of tied down again. But then, you know, I got here and my whole mindset has changed. Like, I feel so confident because I was able to fly by myself, stay at a hotel by myself, check in by myself, Uber by myself, walk by myself. I've been going on walks at 6 to 30 in the morning here by myself. And like, I just feel really confident. And then like walking into the office, introducing myself, already kind of joking around with the team, already having fun, already kind of being friends in a way and just being a part of the team understanding the product understanding my role like i just feel really confident i almost feel like i have a little bit of imposter syndrome right now like what do you mean i'm just like in vegas by myself for a work trip that's like paid for and like my food's paid for by the company like what i don't know what like how did i get here like i just need to be thankful that i'm in this position because honestly i feel like it is lucky i feel lucky anyways a lot of kind of like emotions honestly why am i being so reflective right now i don't know i guess that's what happens when the only people i've talked to are people at work for the past three days other than like my little phone call with my husband before bed yeah that's pretty much it i'm about to devour this and y'all are distracting me from it i'm gonna throw my show on my laptop and bye i'm eating burrito slammed i'm packing to go home <laughs> so a little update I already went to work today. I well, I did not sleep good at all last night, and then I woke up late, had to get ready really fast, had to do my makeup and everything for photos and whatnot. And then it was kind of chaos at work today, so I just like didn't pick up my camera to vlog like once. I was pretty exhausted when I left, but overall it was a really good day. Just a lot of work to do and a lot of meetings and stuff. Um, but yeah, tomorrow's Friday. I have to leave my hotel room at four in the morning. Okay, so it's 8 p.m. I'm trying to pack really quick and go to bed. Thank you.